Hey everyone, welcome back to Ethos Lab. We've got a great episode planned for you today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our EMP units a little closer. Because uh, when we finished the mob sorting last time, uh, we didn't really get a time to look at them. We just ended the episode there, so maybe we'll look at some of the features again quickly. And also later we're going to start working on the spider spawning pads up above if we can. So let's begin. Uh, first of all, they're working great. I'm getting so much stuff from them. Pretty much have infinite uh, food, infinite leather, making tons of leather armor lately. It's good. And my favorite thing is the wool. Getting lots, lots of wool. So this is uh, turning up pretty good for me. Can't complain, I'm even getting a lot of brown wool, which otherwise would be insanely hard to collect. Lots of black wool. Even the odd time a pink sheep will fall, but it's very rare. So that's working great. Some of the features, I've added uh, two more levers up here. This one controls water break. See, water appears over there. Otherwise, they just fall to their death. So one way of killing them is gravity, just having them fall to their death. If you want them to collect, you need your uh, water break set there. And then they'll end up in here. Uh, then you got your crusher. Hoot, 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 hoot. And... Come on, we need more, uh, we need more, uh, people to help us with our demonstration here. There we go. You got the floor. You can have them straight fall into lava if you want, if you leave that open. And that way no items collect if this is open, so they won't, uh, lag your game. So that's a good feature. Of course you got these, uh, Openings. You can totally free the animals if you have them both open. And the water break on. But I don't like doing that. Um, you got your drowners. If you have that on, you don't really need the water break on. Although it doesn't matter. And you can have the items fall over there, or if you want them to go to the main collection stream, then you just open the bottom door here, and the items will flow out. Just like that, to this hole, automatically on their own. Let's go check that out. By the way, I added torches in here temporarily, just to improve the lighting conditions. Apparently it doesn't seem to... Uh, melt the ice below which is good but if I placed like a torch around here it would so I gotta be careful that's working good working good working great I should say um... yeah Oops. That's interesting. Yeah, you can combine this stuff in lots of different ways. And then weird stuff will happen. Eventually I'll probably rewire this so this floor doesn't open. If that door is closed. So I don't really like that. Um... Big stuff is much the same. Oh yeah, I forgot we got the lava. So... You can have them fall through lava like that. If you have the water break on, they'll fall through water first, then lava. But the water will slow down their, their fall. So then they will just burn here a little bit longer. If you want a show, I guess. 
for if you enjoy that kind of thing, torturing animals. And that works good for you. Um what else? Yeah, the pigs, the lava. Oops. Get rid of these. If we have the lava above here, then you get the roasted pork chops. Because they uh, fall through the lava, but they die from gravity pretty much instantly. But since they're on fire, they still drop roasted pork chops. Cooked pork chops, I should say. Just like that. If we get rid of this. Now the lava's gone. We get uh, uncooked pork chops. Just like that. That's good because uh, wolves need uncooked pork chops. You, have to f you can't feed them the cooked ones. So there is some point to that. And what else? What else? Everything else works much the same. The crusher is different for the pigs because they're shorter. Seems to work uh, perfectly though. Pretty much. I can't remember if I said this, but this lever here isn't hooked up to anything. It's just to bounce out the look. And what else? What else? I really like how it looks in here right now. It's pretty cool. Very uh, technical looking. You might be wondering where the chickens are. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I have... My plan is to hook this lever up, to what go up to the top here, to something I have set up right now. Because we don't need a water break for chickens, so I'm going to have the wire go up to this thing here. Which is uh, killing them a lot quicker than if they were to follow the stream all the way here. Then they f slowly float down to the bottom. Like that. So, having that killing thing up there for them just greatly speeds up the time it takes to kill them. And if you do that, then you get uh, sheep and cows and pigs a lot faster. Oh yeah, the drowner for the pigs. What I might do is... Uh, oh. I might replace this snow block here with the fence. That way, uh, when the water comes down, the items will be able to flow with the water, but the pigs won't be able to fit between uh, the fence and the glass like they are right now. Okay, what else? Just eating up all my episode time today. Focusing on this. Uh, but it's important. It's important. There. Okay, yeah, the chickens. If we want to collect chickens in here, then we have the pigs set to dying and the sheep and cows set to dying. And eventually, this will fill up with chickens, because they're the only ones that aren't being killed. And if you do that, then they'll lay eggs in here, so this doubles as an egg farm. And if we want... Well, I'll show you the crusher. Seems to work okay. You got all the same options, you got the lava. And you have the water. And you have opening below. This door's open. 
if you want to free them for some reason. If you have the drowner set, the chickens will float down and they'll stay in the water, like up at the top of the water and they'll lay eggs. The eggs will fall down into this water stream and then uh, they'll float to the main collection area so you can have an auto egg farm as well. You can see there's a chicken stuck there. So he won't die there. He'll lay eggs. Eggs will fall down into the water. Go to the main stream. Right. Okay, so I think I covered everything. Um, right now it looks kind of ugly. I plan on covering this all up. Everything directly above these levers here. So you won't see this weird stuff. And I'll try to make all this look a lot better when it's done. But first we want to figure out exactly how we're going to do this. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any wolves. I'm very disappointed about that. Yep, no wolves. So, that's too bad. What happened is, before I even started building all this stuff, I that was one of the things I checked for to make sure wolves would spawn in this area. Let's just skip to a uh, day here. Sleeping on the clay. Yeah, I checked for wolves originally, and I did see them. What happened was I saw them... Let's see. Opposite side, over here. That island we blew up, I saw them spawning on there. Ah, oh, come on. Load, you chunks, load. So, directly... This is where the island started. I saw wolves spawning here. Right here, so less than... Oh, probably... 20 blocks away or so, 30 blocks. So that's kind of uh, disappointing. <coughs> ah, excuse me, I gotta stop. I'm gonna cough really bad here. Whew. Yeah, so if it ever seems like I'm stumbling with my words, it, part of it's probably because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to speak. The other part, I'm probably got something in my throat because I'm still getting over that cold I had. And it feels like I got junk in my lungs still. Anyway. Yeah, so about 20, 30 blocks away from here, we could have had wolves spawning if the if these spawning pads extended out that far. Unfortunately, they don't. Uh, there are some advantages to this, though. So. Uh, let's go down here. So since wolves aren't spawning... That means we get more cows, more sheep, more pigs, more chickens a lot quicker because we don't uh, we don't have wolves to deal with, so we get the other mobs instead. And this is good because wolves don't drop anything, so we don't necessarily want them spawning if they're not providing anything. So that's kind of good that they don't spawn here. Kind of sucks though because, you know, I got this all set up for them. I wanted to show it in action and it's not happening. What we could do, you know that useless feature we have on our passive spawning pads to shut, to shut them down? Ah well, I don't want to go up there again. Uh, we can shut off the passive spawning pads and we can have a second passive spawning pad if we want or a third or a fourth as long as we're able to shut them off we can have more so that useless feature is starting to have 
uh, some potential now in my eyes. So for example, we could build it doesn't even have to be spawning pads, it could just be a nice park area, a patch of grass over here that we can flood with water too and we could switch between having them spawn here or spawn up there or spawn at both, whatever, you know and that way we could get wolves over here because I'm assuming this building is going to extend this far so that's one possibility Oh, I gotta cough again. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna pause here. Alright, so I thought I'd show the chicken farm, egg farm in action here. We got about, oh, probably 12 chickens or so in there right now. And they're laying eggs. A uh, chicken lays an egg every five minutes. And we have our pigs set to dying and our cows and sheep set to dying so if uh, if they spawn on the spawning pads they'll die and they'll keep dying until eventually chickens spawn and when chickens spawn they'll go to this tube and sl slowly we keep getting more and more chickens and fewer and fewer of the other mobs right now we only have three mobs up on our spawning pads so they're greatly slowed down right now as we reach the passive mob limit because we have all these chickens here normally there's about 10 to 15 mobs on our spawning pads Th having a uh, spawning pads that are 300 blocks in size seem to or not spawning pads but spawning systems that are 300 blocks in size for passive mobs seems to work really well seems to keep up pretty good at the rate I'm killing them yeah so eventually we'll have all chickens and no other mobs will be spawning up there and we'll have about 15 chickens in here or so and that averages out to an egg every 20 seconds or so and they float on top of the water if we have the stream running eggs show up here at our main collection area just got nine eggs if we don't want them to show up there we close this up we have to have this top one up like that because otherwise it's possible for the eggs to get stuck on the piston there Uh, another option would be to have the chickens. Oh, yeah, we don't have a water break. Never mind. Or we can just have them down here and have them lay eggs down here. Uh, that works too. And yeah. So that's how we ha can have an egg farm. And there's no way of auto-killing the chickens to get feathers. I don't know if I really am going to add that feature. I suppose it would be good if I could, but I don't know. Oh, what? We got some chickens stuck there. Hmm. I'm going to have to work on fixing that. Oops. Yeah, I got some tweaking to do with the system yet. Anyway. Right, so most of the time I'm going to have this set so that the chickens just die up at the top there. At that lava switch because we don't really need them for anything. They're kind of kind of like wolves. They're pretty much uh, useless for their drops anyway. We don't need feathers from them really because feathers are one of the most useless items in the game. 
And also we're going to get tons of feathers from zombies when we set up our our hostile spawning system on this side. So the only thing we really need from chickens is eggs every once in a while maybe. So we want to get rid of them as quick as possible at the top there. Uh, pigs probably have it this setting most of the time or else have the floor open. If I don't want the extra leg those 30 or 40 cooked pork chops will cause me. And then we have these guys. Most of the time I'll just have them falling to their death so I can collect the wool on that. But if we want to... Uh, if we want to... Uh, man, they're loud. If we want to dye them... There we go. Got my shears, got my dye, got my sword. There's a few different ways we can uh, dye them. Uh, this first way is pretty funny. I think you guys are going to like this. Uh, we open up our top. And they just come flying out. <laughs> and then we can uh, shear them, kill them. doesn't happen every time, but a lot of the times a bunch will fly out. Which is kind of nice, you don't want them all flying out, probably. Oops. Aw, oh, dang. So you can deal with a few at a time doing it that way, which is nice. Uh, another way of doing it is just to leave it open. Oops. And then try to dye them through this opening. Although that's very hard to do. You have to hold down the right click and move your mouse around and you'll get a few. Another thing you can do is just let them all free roam. That's uh kind of uh, hard to deal with them when they're all out. Because they like to wander places they shouldn't go, like this guy's doing. And then you might not uh, catch them. Of course this will be more closed off later when I get this lab more finished. Um. Oh, there's one more. Okay, but the best way I've found of dealing with them is simply... Let me get rid of these guys. I have this open. <coughs> have this thing empty. Just uh, deal with them one at a time if you can. you got to be fast, though. And have your die, your shears, and your sword equipped. Sheep, shear. That was too slow. There we go. Just like that. It is the best way I've found of uh, doing it quickly. With the least amount of stress of chasing them down and stuff. Um, got some black. So this works pretty good. One more, come on. If you share them, you get more wool. It's another nice thing. Instead of only getting one, you get between two and four. If a cow falls, just kill it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I was maybe thinking of raising that uh, water break so you can kill them simply by punching them instead of using a sword. But I don't know if I if I do that, it probably won't work 100% anyway. Like some, you might have to punch twice or three times. 
Um, you know what? I never tried milking them. So maybe I'm gonna let I'm gonna let some more uh, show up here, and then I'll try and milk them. All right, here we go. We're gonna try see if we can milk the cows when they're all grouped together like this from the top. Holding right mouse click. Seems to try every so often. And the bucket goes like that. It's not very effective. Actually pressing the button. Pressing right click. Doesn't seem to work. Um, maybe if we try to turn the water on. Much more effective. Still not getting milk though. It's, it's going a lot more often. Um, okay. Oops. Sorry, guys. Let's try with the bottom open. Doesn't seem to be activating the water. Yeah, it can't seem to do it with the bottom glass blocked down. Of course, you can probably do it when they're free roaming. That's yeah, much better. There's supposed to be a trick to it. Come on. Want some milk? Yeah, this is one part of the game I've never really figured out is how to get milk. Oh, I had some. I think I just had some more. Yeah, there we go. Why am I getting it now? You gotta milk the butt, are you kidding me? You have to milk the butt. <laughs> why, Notch? Why? It doesn't work if you click on the pink thing. You gotta milk the butt. It works 100%. <laughs> okay. Very strange. <laughs> okay. Very interesting design choice. By Notch. Anyway, I guess we're going to end the episode here. That's the EMP units. I didn't get to the spider spawning this episode. But we'll probably focus the whole next episode on that. And I'm going to work out some designs for it a little bit. And it'll be a little bit challenging because nobody's really built any spider only spawning systems yet. Like dedicated to only spider spawning. I know the one at uh, Chocolate Island there, you have the option, but it's not really designed only for spiders. So it's going to be different. This uh, new system I'm building here. And I got nothing to really work off of. Or nothing that's caught my eye anyway. So, that's what we'll be doing next time. Thank you for watching today. Hope you 
found this interesting, even though we didn't really do much. It's a talkie. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yada, yada, yada.